Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. I know the day of the week. Happy Tuesday. What time is it? 20 past 10. See, I'm on it today. Two hours ahead of schedule from yesterday. So on schedule today. Kind of. I don't know. I've been faffing for the past hour. Got up, edited the vlog, all that jazz. And um, I'm trying to get myself motivated to do a bit of uni work today. It's Mondays and Tuesdays are the days that I've dedicated to working on um, my assignments because I have two due in January and I'm really struggling with the one I decided to work on this week. <laughs> Basically, one of them is like broken down into six small essays, like six 500 word essays. And so it's really easy for me to like work on them because they're fi only 500 words each and there's like a clear descriptive like here's what you've got to do, here are the questions you have to answer and you only have 500 words so there's only so much you can say about it and it's really easy to kind of get into it and get stuck into it whereas the other one is just 2,500 words and it's just one chunk and you have three questions to answer and you kind of just have to do it, there is no breaking it down that's just kind of it, that's, <laughs> that's what you've got to do and I feel like I don't have I think because the six mini essay one it has so much information for each section I feel really confident working on it immediately because it's like I know exactly what I have to do whereas I feel like with the other one it's just I don't feel like I have enough information to write as much as I need to right now so yeah I'm gonna try and start that a little bit more in depth today or at least start working on a bullet point plan of points to discuss today but yeah struggling I'm struggling a bit this week I also got in the post classic super nanny so for my second 500 word essay for my other assignment I have to basically write an analysis on a parenting guide and I immediately thought of super nanny um but her website was like barred from my internet I don't know why it was just like one of those things where it popped up saying go back to safety I was like Joe Frost what information are you trying to steal? So I just found the cheapest one of her books I could find. This was £2.50 on eBay. And I'm going to pick a chapter of that. I've already had a skim through it and I've come up with a good point. Oh, I reckon I'll be able to whack that out next week. Uh, whereas this one, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, don't know what I'm doing. But it's one of those days. I'm just going to go check what household chores are left out for me to do. There's the cat cute as ever. I feel like I've got to get her in every single morning shot before I get on with my day, huh? And yeah, that's my day. I'll catch up with you when hopefully some studying has been done. <laughs> You're so cute. You want me to sit down and have a cuddle? We just had a big cuddle. You're the one who got up, remember? No. Hello everybody, it's quite a bit later. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a bit of a fail today. I did sit down, I did enhance my intro a little bit, I did start doing bullet points, but I kind of got to a dead end where I was like, I physically just don't know what I'm doing anymore. And so I've emailed my tutor and she had like an automated reply on saying there's been like a sudden event in her family and means she's kind of responding slowly to emails so I don't know when I'm gonna get a response from that but I did get a bit panicky because I was like oh god I don't know what I'm doing for this one assignment like I don't know where I'm going wrong I don't know why I'm not able to like figure out what I'm doing as much as the other assignment and then I started talking to my friend and she's kind of doing a 50 50 split of going in person and doing online and she said that most people haven't even started either of them yet which made me feel a lot better, honestly. <laughs> I think I have no context working from home and because I'm at home I feel like I'm being lazy which is such a horrible mentality to have because I'm not. Um, I'm definitely working hard but because I'm in a home setting I feel like I'm being lazy and I just automatically assume that I'm behind and that everyone else is doing so much more work because they're going in and it's not true. The reality is with the second assignment is that we've not really gotten to a stage where we know clearly what we're writing about 
and I probably won't get to that stage for a few more weeks even though I really want to start it now I mean I'm gonna try and start wherever I, whatever I can but you know it is what it is it is what it is so I kind of went on a bit of emotional roller coaster today with trying to do what I can and panic emailing my tutors knowing that I'm not gonna get a reply for a while um, and then yeah talking to my friend and being calmed down I do also have a meeting I've been assigned my dissertation supervisor this week who I happen to be having a meeting she's also my academic guidance tutor so she's like the person I'm supposed to go to with my issues anyway and I'm having a meeting with her on Thursday anyway so like online you know I can have a bit of a breakdown in front of her and she can give me some advice but yeah it's been a bit of a day isn't it yeah it's it's been it's it's been as productive as I feel like it could have gone well, that's a lie. It could have been much more productive, but it was. It was still a little bit is better than nothing. Is what I keep telling myself. Like, even a sentence is better than nothing at all, which is effectively what happened. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, I'm just packing up my stuff to get ready to go to Chris's house. Turning up my room before I go. Yeah. The corner of my lip is really sore. I feel like I don't know if you can tell from as far away as you are. I'm not zooming in because. No one wants to see that. Basically, over lockdown, I peeled the skin in the corner of my lip so bad that it like proper scabbed up and was really sore for like two months, maybe three months. Really painful. And I've definitely, I've definitely not, it's nowhere near as painful as it was in lockdown. So I don't think I've done the same thing again, but I've definitely peeled the skin near it, I think. And now it's really irritated. And this morning there was like, bit of skin that was dried over but it was like hanging off and I was like I can't just walk around with that on my face I need to peel that off and it's really it's just it's really sore and I want it to heal over and like fix itself but in my sleep I sleep with my mouth open <laughs> which is not pretty in any way shape or form but like because I do that I like it just it makes it hard for that skin to heal over struggle. It's a struggle I'm dealing with, slippers. You don't know because you don't have lips. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna put you in my bag now. I'm gonna take my lunch downstairs. Dishwasher. Hey Saf! Have you been patiently waiting for us to come back in while we made dinner? Yeah. Yeah, you're purring. You're so cute. You're right out there, love. Yeah, love. Good love. Dino. And chilling. Yeah. Pretty, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a chill kind of night. It's been a chill kind of day. Bit disappointed in myself for my lack of work, to be honest. But look at these two. <laughs> She's like, ooh, food. She's like, ooh, ooh, turkey kiefs, curry sauce, chips, soup, vinegar. Ooh. But you're more interested in some cuddles. Is she? You don't want to eat it, but no sauce and the peanut and veg. I know it's ruined, but it's <laughs> oh, just oh, people. Anyways. We are going to end the vlog here and eat dinner, watch telly and go to bed. So thank you very much for watching everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, Saf. Oh, say bye, Saf. Oh, straight for the dinner. <laughs> Come on, you. Bye, Chris. Yeah. Yeah.